America's Wild West was a time of lawlessness, danger, and adventure. But what was sex like in the Wild West? Let's dive into the fascinating world of intimacy during this tumultuous period. Hi everyone, I'm Rodolfo Robinson, and today I'm talking about what sex was like in the American Wild West. When towns sprang up quickly during the gold rush or when cowboys herded cattle, businesses popped up to meet people's needs. Places like Dodge City and Deadwood had brothels and prostitutes where men could go for some relief from the tough life out on the frontier. But there were also problems, like diseases spreading easily because not many people use condoms. Generally, sex in the Wild West was quick, often just a business transaction, and sometimes it was violent for the women involved. But for settlers, it was a way to feel connected to others in a place where they might otherwise feel isolated. America's oldest profession, picture this, dusty towns, saloons, and yes, brothels. In the Wild West, sex workers were everywhere, and they were an essential part of the social fabric. But here's the twist. While some places treated them like outcasts, others had elaborate establishments where they conducted business. These workers came from all walks of life, often young and educated, and living on the fringes of society. It's a reminder of how capitalism and societal norms intersected in the Old West. Gender roles and fluidity and homosexuality was no big thing. Contrary to the macho image we often associate with cowboys, gender roles in the Wild West were surprisingly fluid. Homosexuality wasn't the taboo it later became. And men engaged in same-sex activities without being labeled. In a world where women were scarce, men sometimes took on traditionally feminine roles for companionship and pleasure. It's a testament to the complexity of identity in a frontier society. Birth control and risks. Now, let's talk about birth control, or rather, the lack thereof. Condoms were available but pricey. So many resorted to ingesting toxic substances to end pregnancies. Imagine the risks women faced in such a precarious environment, where pregnancy could not only end their careers but also endanger their lives. It sheds light on the harsh realities of reproductive health in the Old West. Ingesting toxins. Many people turned to substances like opium and alcohol to enhance their sexual experiences. These toxic substances were readily available and consumed without much thought to the consequences. Privacy during the act, think again. Privacy was a luxury in the Wild West, with families often living in cramped quarters. So how did people find moments of intimacy? Well, they didn't. Sharing beds with relatives or sleeping in one-room shacks meant that privacy was virtually non-existent. It's a stark contrast to the idea of intimacy as a private affair, a concept that was still evolving in the American consciousness. Cross-dressing went both ways. Here is a surprising fact. Cross-dressing was common in the Old West, for both women and men. Women often dressed as men to gain opportunities denied to them, while men occasionally donned women's clothing for various reasons. And let's not forget the unique slang of the time, with terms like perioding for intercourse. It's a reminder that language and identity are deeply intertwined. The slang was vastly different than today's vernacular. The Wild West had its own unique language when it came to discussing sex. From terms like horizontal refreshment to rumpy pumpy, the slang was colorful and varied. Assault and lack of recourse. Unfortunately, the Wild West was an all romance and adventure. Women faced rampant sexual assault, with few avenues for justice. In a society where women were seen as second-class citizens, the prevalence of assault was a grim reality. It's a sobering reminder of the challenges women have faced throughout history. Education or the lack thereof. Lastly, let's talk about education or the lack thereof. When it came to intimacy, in a time without comprehensive sex education, people relied on inaccurate marriage manuals for guidance. These manuals often perpetuated harmful beliefs and stigmatized pleasure outside of procreation. It's a testament to how far we've come in understanding and normalizing healthy sexuality. Conclusion As we reflect on the Wild West's past approach to sex, we gain insight into a tumultuous yet fascinating era in American history. Remember, the stories of the Wild West are not just tales of cowboys and outlaws, but also of the complexities of human relationships and desires. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the untamed terrain of intimacy in the Wild West. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more intriguing facts. Until next time, stay curious.